What are the best ways to define your target audience online? I feel like there's several ways. I mean, I remember when I was doing my research for a dance formation app, I DM'd a lot of dance coaches and dancers and asked them a specific set of questions that would help give me like really deep insight in regards to what their problems are, what they would like, what they would pay for. I think the, there's a really good book by Ryan Levesque. I kind of went a little nerdy and I put it on spreadsheets to like see like if they answered this question if they get a very deep answer it would be it would be there would be a multiplier you know very very like nerdy in terms of that but that's what i did i asked a dm to people relevant in the industry like if maybe if you're not getting, able to like get some huge you know top level executive maybe some a local business owner because there's a lot but that's what i did i asked and got a answers and then i was able to define like i get the commonalities between every single like all these people that i get you get then you get these themes and how to mess uh, to market your me uh, how to tell your message who it is average age all those things and then from there we kind of tailored the messaging we, i scrapped the project because it, uh, it it was a hard lesson and then and a lot of people can tell me that will tell you this i don't know if it's still true but like it's hard to do a kickstarter project on an, on an app so which is rough but yeah that's how i essentially to find that target market and I still get asked for it today and I feel I feel pretty bad about it and another way of defining your target your target market is I would play with with several types of messaging so and uh, I would so I, I, I don't know the product you're doing I don't know what you're what you're selling your service or whatnot but I remember with the comedian that I was working with and he was trying to sell shows we were we did one general broad audience ad and then another one was targeted towards couples and we messaged, did the messaging to be like, oh, like the perfect date night kind of thing. So play with your messaging. Maybe if, you're, if, you're, if you have the, the money to do paid ads, like run, I would do an A, do maybe A-B testing on age groups, different demographics and see who, which one responds the most. That's one way. Another way is they could, from all the content that you, that, and another way that I'm just thinking right now is like, oh, sure, oh, throughout all the content that's being shared, if we're using Facebook or Instagram ads, if I want to focus on promoting my podcast more, I, I, and I share a lot of podcast content on my Instagram and Facebook, I would create a target audience on Facebook and the, on the back end, on uh, specifically anyone who's interact, in, who's watched like 75% of the pod podcast content that I've shown. And then I would create custom audience to, to target that, to target an ad for people to watch a new episode. And then from there, I would also create a lookalike audience for people to, to market towards. So, and then that that's another way right there. Yeah, I think that's it. Like uh, from like how, what I'm thinking is like, ask directly, you know, search from the horse's mouth, get a direct answer. And then next is experiment on like the different demographics. And the other one is experiment with who's interacting with what content the most, and then, fo and then kind of make a messaging on that. Hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, honestly, like of all of those three methods, I personally like directly asking because we, we can play the guessing game all we want. Like, oh, like, I don't know, if you're trying to make a product for a, I don't know, a Gen Z or 21, 20, 21 year old person, very different from millennial or Gen Xer. So, and if you're a Gen X or a millennial trying to create something, it's kind of hard if you're just creating and guessing, you know, that it just makes sense. So to, and if anything, that's where split testing might even happen. Like you, you can cr test the creative, you can, or ask them yourself, you know, and then get, and try to get a general consens consensus about it. But yeah, I like, I like the actual talking part because you hear directly from them. So. Hello, my name is Bernie and I'm a social media manager for Vision Paradox. To be honest, your target audience online is actually your real target audience. So to start with, you have to know who your product is for. You have to know what you do, why you're doing that. So it has a lot to do with your communication. It has a lot to do with your brand, with you knowing what your brand is. Because, because you can't decide who you want to talk to if you don't know what you're talking about. So 
In a simple note, I would say your target audience online is actually your target or audience or the, the, the people that you want your products, services, or whatever it is to reach.